Okay guys, so after doing one run testing the gates on the course out here. So this is the local comp course um, out here in Baldwin Park. You can see road there, the road there, that's Baldwin Park Avenue. Kaiser is just right there. My local hobby shop is just right there. So this is the wash that is behind. Okay, and this is the comp course that they normally run. Uh, when they have events out here and you can see there's like I said from previous videos You'll see arrows marked all over so I went on a little discovery and discovered some more arrows down that way There's actually even more down that way, but there's bikes and stuff in the way I'm not gonna do that. So I actually set up some gates ten gates in total Tested them right now to make sure that they work um, This is just practice run. So there are backups um, No points really I'm just looking for progression. Okay, so here we go run number two This is the SCX 10-2 trail honcho converted to an LCG configuration and aka twinkle toes Progress. Okay. So gate two we had to adjust because we had the one earlier that we tried didn't really work. Interesting, I made that turn. Okay, so gate two. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. okay so let's see how I would approach gate two better. This gate two approach is not the best. I want to back up. This is where I want to make sure those tires do not touch. Okay, so left is good. Let's make sure right is good. Okay, so the front are cleared. Let's make sure those rears are cleared. Over just the smooch that way. And we got both sides cleared, so that's a progress. Okay. Alright, so this was about positioning. I'm gonna take the high route. I don't know if this will be allowed in the competition, but instead of going this way and trying to make a tight turn, I'm just gonna go slightly higher this way. And then, whoa, keep on coming. There we go. I may have to put more brass on the bottom. I really didn't want to go brass on this car because part of the goal is to try to keep it as lightweight as possible, but. Getting a lot of those high fives. It's wheels in the air kind of thing. It's not a bad thing, but I am getting a little more than I would like. Often, sorry, more often than I would like. Okay, so uh, let's control this vehicle's descent. Watch out for that side healing. Right, so far, so good. This is looking good. As long as I keep this controlled and that those wheels, there we go, planted. That looks good. Oh, oh that was a slip. Oh, shit. Just as I said, that good is slipped. Okay. All right, so we got the fronts progressed and the rear is cleared. Okay. Let me just get down here so I don't eat shit walking. Can you feel me? All right. Get down just a smidge lower. And then the anchor my foot right there. So here comes the car. Oh, it's getting nice and toasty. Oh, that's an easy one. I should have 
set this one a little harder, but so five is right there. So the car is just gonna come down here over to five and just get positioned better again. Sorry for the walks, but I wear hiking boots just so I can have better grip on this shit. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's getting nice and toasty. I need to lose the sweatshirt. Okay, so make sure the car comes down slow. We don't want to side hill too badly. And then roll in the car. Just remember we are allowed the backups here because this is really just developing other techniques at this moment. Good so far, we'll back here and then here we go. And that's where I make sure that's controlled. Okay. Closer to the water and it's starting to snap. Okay, so this is good so far. Control, control, control. Slowly. Okay, front clear foam. That's good. So you can see the rear is clear. Well, that's a narrow one. <laughs> okay, so um, now we're gonna go over to six. Fronts through here, so fronts cleared and rears cleared. Okay, that's easy peasy. Okay, seven is down here, close to that nasty water. Okay, we're gonna go down and we'll start turning around so that I can position myself as the car rolls. First. So we're gonna try this again one more time. I mean, we count no progression on this one. Okay, so far so good. Come on. Boy, I'm getting stuck over here. There we go. Oh, 
before I can just break that complete chunk off. That works. <laughs> oh, sorry, the camera is facing on the ground. Or my rock slider can just completely rip that corner off right there. <laughs> so, yeah, that works. Progress. Good, going up, and then 10. Okay, we go for 10, you come up at a small angle, and then we want to get left wrapped. There we go. That might be not good enough. So far, the right is good. And progress. Okay, that's 10 gates. Okay. So what do you guys think of the gate placements on this course? Let me just get to a higher ground so you can see. You know, we started off with gate number one all the way down there. You know, that's where the starting point is. You know, you go down here, all the way down there, back around, down all the way there, back up all the way up here, and back over here. So, all right. So that was the second run for the trail honcho did phenomenal on the second run obviously some of the gate positioning these are just my own gate positioning this isn't the competition gate positioning i have never seen competition here i'm just getting kind of into trying to learn competition crawling so you know i'm kind of placing gate placements out here just kind of as is so kappa is going to get a run now